competition is well underway. You know, I do suppose. So we have Anthony Bridgerton's club, and there's a lot of great antiques here, starting with, you know, just take a look at the table. We've got a decanter and some glasses. If it were not for an overzealous mother at every corner, this time of year in the city, would not be so very dreadful. Those mothers simply want the same as you, I rather think. For every last... And we get a great establishing shot here, uh, some great furniture. Also, worth noting, over in the corner... Uh, the wonderful marble bust that would certainly be at a room like this. Um, so we have a couple items here. We've got a set of game tokens uh, that are uh, porcelain by Meissen. Um, this is probably 18th century uh, game room item. Uh, forget the I think forget the game that uh, this goes with. Um, and then here we have you know a nice set of 18th century glass decanters. I would probably still be hanging around in a club like this. Um, you would uh, put your put your liquor in glasses like the or in glass like this to leave it to store. Um, and then we have uh, I actually lucked out and found a bust of the dude himself, uh, the Duke of Wellington. So uh, very possible that that uh, bust over in the corner is supposed to be the Duke of Wellington. Um, or it could, it could also be a Bridgerton, but uh, very cool to find that. You shall need to sire an heir. So here we've got a little bit more table shots. We see a pretty intricate glass bottle that uh, looks like it has whiskey in it. We also have some cutlery. It looks like they ate a meal, and we have a beaker glass and then a uh, goblet glass. And here we've got a, an American bottle, so likely not the one that was shown there, but I, you know, struggling to find good imitations of that shape. So here's the 18th century, uh, actually early 19th century Regency period bottle, and another cut glass, uh, this one cut glass of American make again, but really starting to get that sort of barrel shape that we just saw get poured out. Next we've got a uh, clary glass, a uh, wine glass. Uh, I think we see Simon drink out of a glass that's kind of like this in the previous scene. Then we have a beaker glass. Uh, this one is uh, Murano from Italy. Uh, I believe it's 17th century actually, so yeah, likely not this one that's in there, but one, one quite like it. So we have a glass beaker glass. Uh, it looks kind of like a shot glass to us nowadays. Um, and then we have a decanter label, usually made out of sterling silver. Um, this one, 18th century, and it says Madeira on the front, so you would use that to label your decanter bottles. We wrap up the club with this lovely olive green uh, blown glass wine bottle with a sort of press seal on the front. Um, I assume if you flip this over, you would see a Pontal mark. Um, very cool glass bottle. And something that's probably behind the scenes of what's going on. Work for a living. Well, she does seem to be someone with access. Who knows if whistled up? And here we have the very important first dinner uh, that they all eat together. Um, we're going to note a couple items from this shot. Uh, we'll take a look at some candlesticks. We've got a wonderful London silver gravy boat. We will look at the silver. We'll take a look at some glasses, and we'll also look at the plates. Here we have the London 18th century silver gravy boats. Um, there'll probably be a couple of these at the table to get passed around. And here we have the earliest of the London silver. Uh, this dates to the early uh, 18th century, I believe it was 1705, pair of London silver candlesticks. Uh, a little bit later into the uh, middle half, uh, I believe this is the beginning of the Georgian period, uh, that uh, these were made. Uh, and then we get sort of into the high Georgian candlesticks uh, here that are a little bit sort of like uh, Greek columns uh, revival. Um, this is uh, 
right around the American Revolution, actually. This should be about 17, in the 1770s. This style was very popular. Um, and then we have one more that, uh, from a similar time period, that I think actually looks pretty close to what the uh, Bridgertons have in their London home. Um, so you get it's sort of a range of styles here. All of these are from London silversmiths uh, in the 18th century, so very likely to see one of these sets, uh, one of these pairs on set. And here we have a 18th century uh, set of tableware. Um, this pattern does look similar to the pattern that you would see or that you do see in the hands of the Bridgertons in the episode. However, I think this actually was a travel kit, uh, possibly for campaigning or any sort of other uh, need that one might have. So while I think that's the right pattern, I don't think this is necessarily a dinner set. You should join us more often, Your Grace. Perhaps when we travel to our country seat, you would be most welcome. Gregory, would you stop tossing peas at me? Those peas are already there. You cannot tell me what to do. Oh, little Gregory. Well, we finally get uh, one of our good shots of the plates. Uh, we also see that the young boy is drinking out of a Georgian wine glass. So here we've got a lovely fluted Georgian wine glass. Um, it has the sort of spiral decor in the stem. Uh, if you were to flip it over, you would notice that it has a Pontomark. Um, glass from this period is very renowned. And here's a lovely uh, bell-shaped top uh, fluted wine glass that uh, really has the lovely spiral all the way down. When we see the sort of outlines of the plates, it's interesting you never get a straight-on shot uh, in the first episode. Um, I've got two companies that come to mind. Um, they're both English porcelain, and I think of Chelsea and uh, Worcester uh, porcelain factories. You know, they kind of have this English eight, late 18th century stylization that, you know, I think I'm getting that type of vibe. And uh, these first two pieces have been Chelsea porcelain. Um, the next two are going to be uh, the... Uh, Worcester that I think is what's going on here. I think that that's what we're trying to imitate is this style and you know possibly something a little uh, whiter um, even though the, maybe some more Imari polychrome type tones in it. Um, here's a black and white from the Met Museum of a uh, plate that looks kind of similar. Um, I think any of these types of English plates are probably what the Bridgertons are eating from in the first episode. Wow, so we're through another episode. Uh, so many people to thank and so little time. Um, just make sure that you hit the like and subscribe if you enjoy this stuff. We are just getting started with this. Hopefully we can do a bunch more with Bridgerton before season two comes out, so stay tuned.